In our last episode, we were camping at Coral Pink Sand Dune State Park. In this video, we head to kayak the world famous Antelope Canyon, check out the insane views of Horseshoe Bend, find a great camping site along the Paria River, hike an awesome slot canyon, and stay the night under Mexican Hat along the San Juan River. We're Brian and Emily Whitley, and we love exploring new places together. With full-time professional jobs, we are self-proclaimed weekend warriors who try and fit in as much adventure as we can. Whether on a backpacking trail to a remote destination or overlanding in our 2021 Tacoma, we love getting outside. We're here to share that it is possible to balance a work schedule and find time to see the world in a variety of different ways. Follow along on our Taco Roamer adventures. We left our campsite at Coral Pink Sand Dunes before the sun was up so we could meet our kayak guide for the morning with Kayak Lake Powell in Page, Arizona, 94 miles away. We launched at Antelope Point Marina with a small group of only four other people and our guide. The start was a little chilly, but it soon warmed up and was the perfect day on the water. This time of year, there aren't a lot of boats, so it was nice and glassy. After about a mile, we entered the world famous Antelope Canyon. The further and further we paddled, the more amazing it got. What's around the corner? After what felt like forever, and probably because I was doing all the paddling, we soon reached a beach and the end of the water section of Antelope Canyon. To be real, we were a little disappointed when our guide said we could only go a few minutes into the canyon. We walked back with soggy butts, just hoping to explore what was around each and every bend. We are really hoping that we could hike the several miles of the lower portion of Antelope Canyon until you reach the Navajo Nation border, which is currently closed to the public due to COVID. We did learn a lot from our guide though about the rock colors and mineral deposits that we certainly found useful on the rest of our road trip. After a quick change into dry clothes, we headed to one of the most picturesque spots I have ever seen, Horseshoe Bend. Bound for our campsite that evening, we headed back into Utah to White House BLM next to the Paria River. It's an amazing spot, but first come, first serve. Just got to White House BLM campground. It's pretty empty. Really not a lot of people here at all. Here's our sweet site. Up against some cool rock formations. Now we just have to hope that those super dark clouds up there and what looks like rain. We hiked along the river until the storm clouds made us nervous enough to head back. Although this was an amazing spot, we don't have much footage except for Brian acting like Bigfoot along the river because we did stay inside most of the evening because of the weather. The next day, we packed up and headed out around mid-morning to continue on to the adventure for the day. Another dirt road would soon take us to the trailhead for Wire Pass Slot Canyon. If you're gonna hike here, make sure that you get your day permit on recreation.gov before you get to the trailhead as there's not a lot of service at the trailhead and you will need a permit. We are hiking to Buckskin Gulch. See the trailhead behind us where we started. A mile and a half to the actual Slot Canyon. And uh, we'll show you some more when we get there. All right, we are getting closer to the Slot Canyon, but I had to stop and show you this because it's pretty cool. And the sun came out. All right, I think we're here, coming into the Slot Canyon. Oh, 
Just kidding, that wasn't the slot back there. Still pretty cool. Okay, this is the entrance to the slot canyon. I think we're here at just the right time because the sun's about to come. It's about to be directly over us and we're going to get those golden claws. Whoa. <laughs> How far do you think that is? This? Uh huh. Probably left over from a flash flood. Pretty deep and narrow, huh? After hiking through the slot canyon, it soon opened up to Buckskin Gulch. There were some really cool petroglyphs in the area too, and unfortunately some people that decided they would try their own hand at creating petroglyphs. If you come across ancient archaeological sites like this, please just enjoy them for what they are and don't feel like you need to add or modify anything that's been done so so many years ago <sighs> so we're in the gulch took off my jacket because it's warmed up quite nicely sun has come out and the colors are fantastic. Pretty rad. That is the end of Wire Pass Slot Canyon to Buckskin Gulch. Awesome. Highly recommend headed back to the truck and you're gonna see where our next adventure takes us. on the road, we headed east toward our next destination, 186 miles away, Mexican Hat, Utah. The weather wasn't great, but lifted just in time for what might be one of the most iconic stretches of road in the southwest, if not the country, Monument Valley. Along US 163, you'll find Forest Gump Hill, which is even that much better in person. 30 minutes later, we were turning onto Mexican Hat Road. Make sure to stay left of the Mexican Hat for some great spots. At Mexican Hat Dispersed BLM Camping, just getting our spot for the night. You can see the Mexican Hat in the background and river right over there. We settled in for the night, taking in great views of Mexican Hat and the red cliffs along the San Juan River. And we didn't see another soul until we were back on the road and headed to Moab the next day.
make sure to tune in for the next episode where we explore Moab, see more arches than we can count, and check out the surrounding area. Till then, happy trails. <laughs>